So we all know that GT is no longer canon from the mainline Dragon Ball universe. However, this doesn't necessarily mean some power-ups aren't canon anymore. Now, hear me out. Frieza, Cell, and Boo all have their true final form. But what about Saiyans? Don't they have a final form? This is where my theory comes to play. Let's take a look back at Super Saiyan 3. We all know when Goku does this, he is ascending past an already ascended Super Saiyan. With this new form, it makes his clothes glow goldish, his forehead gets all big, and most notably of all, his hair grows down to his ankles. Now, let's take a look at Super Saiyan 4. His hair is his normal color except for his body, which is slightly reddish. He has red around his eyes, and he has his tail. Now, the tail is actually the most important part of this, because without his tail, Goku wouldn't be able to become Super Saiyan 4. Now let's rewind a bit to whenever Goku had his tail prior to becoming a Super Saiyan. Whenever he would look at the full moon, he would turn into a giant ape, and he would lose all control of himself and start rampaging. Fast forward some years later, and Vegeta is able to do this too, but he is in complete control. So now we have two different power-ups for Saiyans. Now I'm not saying Super Saiyan 4 is just a combination between Super Saiyan and the ape form. I'm just saying that all these power-ups are just glimpses to a Saiyan's true form that they can reach without the helps of other Saiyans. Let me elaborate on this. It's not like Frieza needed Cooler to power up around him so he could turn golden. I mean, yeah, he had to train, but he didn't piggyback on others' powers. Cell needed 17 and 18 to reach his true perfect form, because that's how he was designed to do. It was, it's, it's in his code, right? And Boo, well... Once you finally take away everybody he's absorbed, he turns into his true form, Kid Buu. Which, by the way, people, including me a little bit, believe that the Gohan absorbed version of Buu is stronger than Kid Buu, which actually helps this theory out a bit. Going back to Super Saiyan 4, in order to unlock this form, a Saiyan must have his tail. When Goku became Super Saiyan 3, he didn't have his tail. So what if Super Saiyan 3 is just an imperfect form of Super Saiyan 4, which is his final form? Because without his tail, his full power couldn't be realized in his body. That's why it stayed with the normal Super Saiyan color, and that's why it grew so big at the top of his head, because his body didn't meet the requirements for it to grow around his body. That's why his forehead is so big. His body is trying to go towards that little bit of ape mode in his system, but can't because he lacks a tail. In other words, I don't think Super Saiyan 4 is just another power-up. I think it's a Saiyan's true form, a form they all can reach by themselves as long as they keep their tail and focus their time and energy on reaching that level. Now that I've told you that, this doesn't necessarily mean Super Saiyan God isn't stronger than Super Saiyan 4, cause it is. This is why I said that the Gohan Absorbed Boo is stronger than Kid Boo helps this theory out a bit. Because even though Kid Boo is now at his final form, he lacks all the people, or at least most of the important ones, he absorbed powers from. Which brings us to Super Saiyan God. In order to become a Super Saiyan God, you must have five other Super Saiyans raise their power level around you, and that's how you unlock it. This is not your final form, but this is indeed a power-up. One that's slightly stronger than your final form. I mean, your final form is pretty close to being as strong as Super Saiyan God. Why else do you think the body hair is red and whatever around your eyes are red too? Well, that's my theory. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And please leave a comment if you have any other thoughts that you could possibly add on to this theory. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. Bye-bye.